Hi everyone. So now in this video, I would want us to also discuss computerized accounting system. So obviously, as you all know, computer technology and specialized accounting softwares are now available. They have completely changed the way how businesses operate and maintain their financial records. All right. So for example, for smaller businesses, there are specific software packages available. They're also relatively inexpensive. Larger systems or larger businesses might require specifically designed or customized systems. They are also available to cater for their needs. All right. So computerized accounting has, is now changing the way accounting was done manually before. So some of the common features that you might find in an accounting software packages, let me list them down over here. Firstly, these softwares lead to automatic processing. So once you get appropriate information or you enter the source document, it will pretty much enter the data and will update everything from the ledgers, trial balance, income statements, statement of financial positions by just one click entry. So they result in automatic processing versus the long time that manual entry takes. They, they have also integrated some new functions over here. So they will allow you to keep inventory records, payroll records, invoices, they all can be generated. They will also help management obtain certain information which can be useful. For example, calculating the age trade receivable analysis, how long are your receivables paying on time? It's much easier to be done over here and was time consuming while using manual accounting. They also help with audit trails. So it, it becomes quite easier to locate the origins of the document where the figures are coming from and to conduct an audit for these financial statements. So these softwares are generally helping as opposed to the manual accounting, which was being conducted before. In addition to the above features, these accounting software packages also allows a firm to calculate or perform ratio analysis, break even analysis. Costing system becomes quite easy because computerized accounting system allows you to trace the cost, apportion the cost easily over here, production of budgets, flexible budgets, capital investment decisions. So the investment appraisal techniques can now be easily calculated using these software packages. All right, so it's making the accounting process easy for the management. Okay, so if we were to discuss the benefits of computerized accounting, then the obvious benefits would be greater accuracy. These packages or computerized accounting would allow you to operate with more accuracy. Uh, they would be error free. The chances of errors would reduce greater speed. Everything can be updated and calculated instantly over here simultaneous updating all records are updated just from a single entry so let's say if you make one single correction it will update all the records over here all your ledgers trial balance income statements statement of financial position cash flows will be updated instantly over here they also improve accessibility and there's also a possibility of reduction in staff cost because the work is being computerized and being done automatically over here. So the amount of staff that was required previously would go down. So there could be savings in wages as well. Then if you were to discuss the disadvantages of computerized accounting, they require a significant capital expenditure. So installing these, these packages would be quite expensive. It would require updating hardware and software regular, regularly over here. So there is a significant capital expenditure attached to it. Training costs, your staff would have to be trained to be equipped with using these software. So that's an additional cost that the firm would face. There could be a risk of data loss. So computer systems can crash over here. They can also suffer from viruses as you guys would have heard. So, so there will be a risk of data loss over here. Then they also come with a maintenance and support cost. So you would need additional maintenance. You would need technical support teams that would help you run the system over here. All right. So there is some additional cost that would come with computerized accounting. Now, finally, at the end of this video, I would also want to talk about the implementation and introducing a computerized accounting system. So managers have to carefully plan installing computerized accounting system, they need to, they can, they can decide between buying a standard software package, 
versus a software package that comes with adaption as per the needs or completely designing a special software for the business. All right, so they would differ based on the cost. So for example, a small firm might would want to go with standard software packages. A, a relatively medium sized firm can go with an, ad an adaption as it would be able to afford this cost of adaption but obviously large multinational firms would want to design their own software. So it depends on the amount of expenditure that firms are willing to spend on these computerized accounting softwares. Now, choosing the right option would also mean that the firm also has to, or the management also has to consider the short run and the long run perspective. Managers have to particularly give preferences to data security that is uh, an important consideration over here, backing up the data. There could be some of the reasons for data losses that we've discussed. There could be hardware, software losses, virus infection or hacking, right? So hacking has also become a big issue for large firms where hackers do get into the system. So your data has to be secured. There can be power failures or accidental or malicious deletion of files. All right, so the management also has to give consideration how to secure this data, how to restore this data, so and how to create backups for such data. Finally, some of the other security considerations that the management needs to take into account while installing these softwares is the access that which staff and at what level of staff who would get access to the accounting system, passwords need to be installed, encryption, you guys should know about encryption. That's the technology that is required to encode sensitive data. So you can ensure confidentiality over here, protection against viruses. How will your system fight against these, these viruses? Then internet so concept, which is a private network that you can develop in your offices and can only be accessed while at the offices by a selected individuals or groups. So you, you can also control that. And finally, compliance with the data protection requirements. So there are also legal requirements that you would have to comply with. So all these matters have to be taken into account while installing your computerized accounting software packages. All right, but the crux of it at the end is that computerized accounting software has made it easy to, pr to process the accounting system which can now be done through these softwares. The only question is that management has to consider which software to be installed, how should it be installed, data backups should be taken into account, and other security considerations. All right, so you guys should know the advantages, disadvantages of accounting softwares and also the process required for implementation and the, and the basic matters need to be taken into consideration by management while installing these softwares into their systems.